How many of you feel, I am not greedy or I am not interested in pita and all these things. I will just live as a sadhu at your feet and then great. How many of you feel that way? Please raise your hand. Machala is asking a question. What is giving irrevocable commitment? I am able to understand in a negative way only. Not giving it means keeping the threat of fear of leaving the Sangha. Yes, you are right. You are keeping the threat means Sangha will not be able to trust you on bigger responsibilities. Where Sangha, see Sangha will be able to feel only you as a hanging root, not a rooted hanging root. Understand, the hanging root and rooted hanging root, both of them are completely different for a banyan tree. If you are a hanging root, you are part of the Sangha, no doubt. If you have given an irrevocable commitment, you are a rooted hanging root. It means what? Now, not only you are part of the Sangha, Sangha is part of you. You are rooted. Now you are standing. Not only you are part of the Sangha, you are supporting part of the Sangha. Clear? When you give an irrevocable commitment and when I see you behaving with integrity and authenticity, responsibility and enriching in your day-to-day -day small small actions like a morning you come for yoga, and you take the responsibility for who is not coming for yoga and call him back, call him to do the yoga. I know now you are a rooted supporting root. Hanging root is part of the Sangha, but wait on the branch, original tree. When you declare irrevocably, now you have become rooted root. Trusting you, banyan tree can extend its branches. How many of you cognize it? That's it. Trusting you, banyan tree can take further steps. Sangha is like a banyan tree. Giving shadow, cleaning the environment, purifying, reducing the carbon dioxide. If you are not giving, I don't want to say it is right or wrong. It is just the hanging root. The tree cannot trust the hanging root and extend itself. Understand? So it has to wait. And tree will not give up on hanging root. It will wait till the hanging root becomes a rooted supporting root. Tree will continue to supply energy to the hanging root. It will not give up on hanging roots. Yanatma, okay? Yanatma has a question. Swamiji, me staying with the Sangha should be because of inspiration and excitement to be part of it, not because I gave commitment to someday. You already started planning, one day you will lose the excitement and inspiration. Listen, you already started planning, there will be someday... I may lose the inspiration and excitement. That day I should have a freedom to walk out. If I give the commitment, it will be bondage. Am I right? So you have planned to lose the inspiration and excitement. How are you not going to lose at one day? Drop the plan to lose the inspiration and excitement. Plan to become 
the pitatishwar now without even knowing unconsciously you already have a strong plan one day i am going to lose my inspiration and commitment that day this word will be a bondage for me how can i be am i right catching the inauthenticity and lack of integrity it is lack of integrity constantly visualizes that part one day if i lose the excitement and inspiration and feel suffocated this commitment will be a bondage you should be visualizing other way by now giving this commitment i break the pattern of one day possibility of losing the inspiration and excitement and i'll make sure not only i don't lose i'll make sure others also don't lose then you are a wild river ganga otherwise you are the kuvam already planning for disappearing clear how many of you cognized what i said now only i am exposing all your fears to you still nirvigalpa is shivering inside i can see am i right hmm but you are not able to cognize what i am saying hmm that is what i am saying that lot of things only is shivering how many people tried that i should give up my commitment to you guys how many people they promised i will not have any harassment i can live happily and they were even ready to give all the money to my hand but i should not run this sangha how many people were asking i said no what i have given to my disciples is irrevocable commitment it cannot be revoked even by my death that is why i am going to live without dying eternally i am going to live in the space i am living eternally because i do not plan for breaking from this space one day i do not have a doubt if one day if i lose my enlightenment what will happen what will i do i have committed to the all my disciples i liberate all of them i know i am not going to break from my enlightenment Turiya has a question. Swami ji, I feel irrevocable commitment to Master and Dhamma, Dharma, but not same for Sangha. No, that is what is not taking responsibility and not ready to enrich. Then I tell you, your integrity and authenticity will just die down. It is not going to complete you. Integrity and authenticity lives. and completes you only when it extends as responsibility and enriching irrevocable commitment to sangha is the completion of irrevocable commitment to buddha and dhamma because the intensity integrity and authenticity will expand and lead you to the next level 
of its experience next level of space only when you feel responsible and enriching others and you now if you take responsibility listen if you take responsibility you may create few beings with integrity and authenticity and decide to continue to enrich then few more beings integrity authenticity listen by the time you you take few hundred people responsibility for few hundred people's in authenticity you will be so pure you will be so pure because every time you see inauthenticity in others you will be doing prayas chitta taking responsibility it is going to purify you so much Ma- me coming to the morning yoga is nothing but me doing prayas chitta for your inauthenticity laziness so now finally i am getting more pure my body is getting more pure how many of you cognize this so you will become so pure you will not only create the space of completion here you will create the space of completion even without body you will be able to reside in that space that is what i call mukti the space where you can be alive without body just because of your strength of integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching is akshara dama only when you create more and more are integrated and authentic beings around you you can expand in your integrity and authenticity that is the only way you can expand in your integrity and authenticity commitment to sangha constantly raises you to the next next level of integrity and authenticity because any level of integrity and authenticity you know now is not complete only when you take the responsibility and enriching it becomes complete complete and complete bhakti ka as a question swami i have a so many unkept commitments that though i feel the energy to commit the current unkept commitments is pulling me back i am moving from non integrity to more non integrity unkept kept commitments are all after all revocable they are not irrevocable complete them by declaring that i am dropping those commitments and start from now in completion now in complete completion the irrevocable commitments will never le- make you incomplete what will be that will be like a brahmacharya and being with the master forever or being with the sangha those things will not have any problem any of the unkept commitments related to work and you are in completion and all that now complete all of them that i am dropping from that commitment i am declaring that i will not be able to take up this job i am completing it complete from all of them and now have completion from the completion begin all revocables com- complete then now you have the place you have the space to start
You see, authenticity should not be destroying your integrity. Authenticity should not be destroying your integrity. Listen. Sometime, I will like give an example of what Manyanatma can understand. With authenticity, you have to commit for the next inner awakening, thousand participants. But that should not be destroying your integrity. So, integrity always gets the first priority. Clear? With integrity, expanding, stretching is authenticity. Leaving integrity, stretching is not authenticity. How many of you are clear? Authenticity Jnanatma, you understand? Supriya, understand this. See, now Jnanatma, if she sees from authenticity, she has to commit thousand for the next inner awakening. She will enrich thousand people's life in the next inner awakening. But will it be integrated? No. Then she has to stretch, but she cannot say 10 people. With integrity, she, 10 she can manage. Understand? With integrity, if, you, if she says 10, it is leaving authenticity. With authenticity, if she says 1000, it is leaving integrity. With integrity, authentic. Should go up to 200. Clear? Now, your declaration has integrity, but not authenticity. Mm, what is the question? Type. So, all of you understand, authenticity without leaving integrity. Jnanatma says, if Jnanatma commits to 200 and it does not happen, then Jnanatma again comes back to so, when you commit itself, you know it is 200 is not, you are planning 200 will not happen. No, no, no. With a clear, authentic feeling, by now, you will be able to, you should be able to easily judge. At least near future, authenticity gives you to judge the near future. It does not allow surprises in your life. If you are still feeling constantly surprises waiting in your life, something is lacking in your authenticity. Again, this is a planning for failure. See, if you say thousand and you plan for, you feel it may fail, then I can say it, it, may, it is not even planning for failure. It's a right thinking of failure. But by now, because of all your work, based on all this work, if you have this doubt, I tell you there is an inauthenticity in the work which you performed earlier. Now at least get back to integrity and let you not be inauthentic in the work you perform now so that in the next near future you are able to perform with authenticity. Authenticity is being in the state of integrity and stretching yourself. Sampurti ke sthiti me rehkar apne aapko Vistarit karna shraddha hota hai. I have a commitment declaration 
collective responsibility declaration from malaysia sangha when i read it i tell you i just want to send kalabairava immediately to malaysia to bless all of them and i am sending i'll read out their declaration please listen they are stretching themselves from the state of integrity without leaving the state of integrity we declare in front of swami ji kala bhairava and the sangha with integrity sampurti authenticity responsibility and enriching ourselves and others that the malaysia parani sangha declares that we are enriching the world by building self sustaining nityananda nagar in over 5 years period of time the nityananda nagar is distributed in various places across malaysia nirantras alter your plan based on this alter your plans based on this master plan master's plan is the plan going to be executed master's plan is planning to make masters they say enriching the community through setting up of three different organization to overlook and run the whole project in different areas nityananda dhyana peeta malaysia already started the registration process mainly to run all the charitable activities and community service projects completion of registration and setting up process to be done by end of october 2013 nityananda family cooperative society limited enriching the members to uplift their economic status and through various business opportunities by obtaining grants from government and also funding various projects such as building temple and ashram completion of registration and setting up process to be done by end of october 2013 blessings blessings to both the projects nityananda foundation malaysia enriching the members by providing assistance to their, to their children to pursue the higher studies by providing scholarships and loans blessings successful you will be successful this nityananda family cooperative society can be like getting best things from india importing to malaysia and selling and we will give you the all the support from india i tell you start create shops anything indian we have it or we will get it that's your tagline shops should be called as anything indian that's the name start the chain stores anything indian title tagline is we have it or we will get it so malaysia guys i give you the clear business plan anything indian that should be the shop name we have it or we will get it if you wanted a tamil name i give you the name madurai kedai that's a malaysian thing madurai anything you want we have it or we get it do this we will give you a complete support from india to get all the best things nirantara plan for employing all the devotees who are relieving this tattvas who are leaving this tattvas employ them have a huge group of employees think like a walmart you will be able to do i 
and third plan representing as an official and the largest living Hindu Vedic community in Malaysia. Yes, I bless you guys. And Southeast Asia, I bless you guys, it will happen. We will be the largest living Hindu community in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. Blessings. Enriching 100,000 people for living the four tattvas as a way of life by creating Brahmanas. I can give even Tamil inner awakening in Malaysia. Plan for it. So understand, the fourth commitment you guys gave is Nivedya. Now the updation I gave and I am giving it back to you is Prasada. Whatever you guys sent is Nivedya. Now what I am giving back to you guys as updated, it's a Prasada. Fifth, enriching thousands of youths by creating the biggest Hindu monastery by educating and training Sannyasis and Rishis. Blessings. You guys will be successful. Do it. Do it. By then, you will have start the work. Soon you will have lot of Sannyasis and Rishis happening. As I said, we will start the next resi residential Rishis. creating a temple based on the bogus concept of Parani Navapashana Murugan and will also include multi-story complex with Nityananda Sabha accommodating 5,000 people at a time accommodation for visitors and ashramites Nityananda Annalaya serving thousands at a time and Vedic library and international standard gym and yogalaya blessings only one line I wanted to add in this creating a temple based on Bogar's their concept of Parani Navapashana Murugan <laughs> Parani name I gave for one center Kuala Lumpur. for whole Malaysia we may have some other name Please understand, Malaysia Parani was given to only Kuala Lumpur Center. So for each different centers, we will give a different, different spiritual name. And Enriching 5,000 families living this tattva as community. Tatastu. So be it. Enriching the community by establishing agriculture business based on these four tattvas. As oil palms estate plantation and rubber plantation, which is the main income generation in Malaysia. Also various small medium enterprises such as textiles, tailoring and food based industry. Enriching people through setting up of Nityananda Research Institute of Science and Technology based on the Gaumara. I get, just add only one addition based on the Nityananda Sampradaya itself. So Nirantara do research institute of science and technology based on Nityananda Sampradaya. Enriching Ayurvedic and Siddha knowledge to the world by farming 
ayurvedic and siddha research center and university wow blessings nityananda ayurvedic and siddha i tell you n a s a nasa nityananda ayurvedic siddha academy mek nasa you call it as great hmm mek university beautiful and the 11th project enriching the world by providing nityananda vedic library to do further study on vedic knowledge and spirituality study on vedic knowledge and spirituality will be set up by 1st october 2013 also includes internet cafe with interactive technology blessings you will be successful you will be successful enriching the beautiful meaning of goshala to the world and make people understand and sacred value of cows to rare rear 500 cows in the first year and gradually increase every year wow and 13th project enriching through free medical camp known as the nityananda mobile clinic conducted every two weeks also creating physiotherapy and rehabilitation center by january 2014 all the above declarations will be described in detail by next meeting on 23rd march 2013 by then all the volunteers have taken up responsibility to land search various licensing needs and planning organizing various activities to raise fund every one of the sangha members will have at least one responsibility for collectively enriching in this declaration tatastu bless you guys my blessings it will become reality first thing i want to tell the headquarters of the malaysia should be near kuala lumpur plan look for everything near kuala lumpur and this is my commitment to you guys smoothly money land people everything will flow the whole thing will be successful power of your integrity and commitment will make everything reality will make everything reality so first first thing you guys need to do start enriching 100000 lives through inner awakening create a beautiful already english website for the four tatwas is getting created by seattle you guys can think of creating i don't think you need to even create a separate website no need everybody in malaysia knows english and start enriching people with four tatwas and enriching them through inner awakening at least 100000 lives that is the first goal i tell you guys only if 100000 people live this tatwas a group consciousness for all these things to happen is created then you don't need to struggle simply it'll happen to make an ashram i don't need to struggle now because i made people who want to live in ashram then simply ashram will happen I already made people who want to worship in temple. Temple will happen. I made people who want to study this knowledge. Monastery will happen. So made people who want to live this tattvas. Simply this community will happen. Nityananda Nagar will happen. Understand? So the first job is making people to live this tattvas.
even to bidhi sangha i am saying very clearly work in all these village go go around in these villages don't expect them to come to you for a typical asp or nsp no go and spend time with them small small groups even four five people talk to them about integrity authenticity responsibility that is why with all these only swami ji is having so much power you also start practicing his power will be supporting you healing you bringing you health bringing you peace in the life bringing you intelligence bringing you success in money economy give them this tattvas then if they want money to start business give them the interest free loan the nitya lakshmi nityananda lakshmi project enrich them in all their dimensions of life this should be done by bidhi sangha enriching them with four tattvas giving them the loans interest free loans for standing up enriching themselves economically and constantly helping them to live these tattvas and showing the power of these tattvas how they can grow economically mentally physically in socially and in the relationships family in every way through these four tattvas aapke pehla uttardayi hai मनुष्यों को इन चार तत्वों के साथ जीवन जीने का तरीका सिखाना है एनी बडी विथ इंटेग्रिटी एंड ऑथेंटिसिटी दट यू आर गोइंग टू फुलफिल will commit this project of nityananda lakshmi by enriching people with this tattvas and supporting them whoever is need in need by giving them interest free loans and see to it they know the power of this tattvas and live this tattvas anybody is committing in and around bidhi raise the hand you should be knowing kannada come on come to the front let me see the team group come and stand as a group you got so many that is great get the mic for both them let's see all you guys listen now when you commit listen it is your life you will not commit anything which is contradicting to this commitment you can commit any more projects which you can be doing being here now this project is supposed to be done around bidhi this this whole district around 200 300 village i want this to happen so is already the commitments you guys made is it any way going to contradict this commitment are you guys clear can you read your book of art once and come back come on listen you have to read your book of art and you have to be very integrated and authentic you should make sure you are going to complete it
any of you is your other projects which you already committed will suffer because of this commitment anybody thinks like that please leave see it is only more stretching not replacing clear it is only more stretching not replacing listen this group first thing do you is your other commitments are going to suffer in any way because of this new commitment raise your hand if your earlier commitment is going to suffer in any way because of this new commitment don't commit are you clear how many of you are clearly declaring because of this new commitment my earlier commitments will not suffer in any way raise your hand i am only stretching with more responsibility and authenticity raise your hand so clear hey jadish you committed to me that you will go to uh, sri lanka and create the sangha is it not then how are you committing now mike go ilanga ipo ஒர்க் பண்றதுனால சொன்னா எங்க கமிட் பண்ண அப்புறம் நீங்க கமிட் பண்ற நான் சம்ஜி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நான் இந்த ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டியும் எடுக்கல انا இன்னைக்கு சாமியோட சர்சங்க இது பண்ண போறதா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபைட் பண்ணனும்னு சொல்லி ஒரு இது வந்திருக்கு சாமி சரி கரெக்ட் அப்ப இலங்கைக்கு கமிட் பண்ண இலங்கைக்கு டிக்ளேர் பண்ண புரியதா சாமி இதே ப்ராஜெக்ட்ட இலங்கையில போய் பண்றியா சொல்ல கண்டிப்பா சாமி பண்ற கண்டிப்பா அது இருக்கு சாமி انا எனக்கு இப்ப நான் இன்னும் கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணல கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணல சில விஷயங்கள் நான் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணி அம்மாட்ட சொல்லணும் ஒன் இயர் நான் சேலஞ்ச் பண்றது என்னன்னா ஒன் இயர் வந்து தமிழ்நாட்டில் ஏதோ ஏதாவது ஒரு சேலஞ்ச் இல்லை டிக்ளேர் பண்ணுற டிக்ளேர் டிக்ளேர் ஏதாவது ஒரு சோனில் சேலஞ்ச் பண்ணி ஒன் இயரில் எனக்கு இது பண்ணுனேன் அப்படிங்கிறது இல்லாமல் ரிசல்ட்டு அந்த ஒன் இயரில் நான் என்ன ரிச ஜதீஷ் வந்து என்ன ரிசல்ட் காட்டியிருக்கான் அப்படிங்கிறது அது நாலு சோன்லேயும் எவ்வளோ பேர் வேணாலும் சேலஞ்ச் பண்ணிட்டோம் இது டிக்ளேர் பண்ணிட்டோம் அந்த எனக்கு கொடுக்க ஜதீஷு கொடுக்குற ஒன் அந்த ஒன் இயரில் ஜதீஷ் என்ன ரிசல்ட் காட்டுறான் அப்படிங்கிறத வந்து நான் ஃபுல்ஃபில் பண்ணி காட்டணும் ரொம்ப சம்ஜி இது வந்து காம்படிஷன் ஸ்பிரிட்டில் தான் சொல்கிறேன் காம்படிஷன்ஸ் நல்லா கம்ப்ளீட் நல்லா தெரிஞ்சுக்கோ அவங்கள பற்றிலாம் கவலைப்படணும் நீ என்ன சாதிக்க போகிறேன் டிக்ளேர் பண்ணு கண்டிப்பாக சம்ஜி அதை சொல் அப்போ அதை திங்க் பண்ணிட்டு வா திங்க் பண்ணிட்டு வா இப்போ நீ தமிழ்நாடு எடுத்தினா இல்லை ஸ்ரீலங்கா எடுத்தினா எங்கே பண்ண முடியாது நீ ஏற்கனவே ஸ்ரீலங்கா கமிட் பண்ணியிருக்க communicate means you should be able to communicate to the villagers mm. then okay so come on come as a group collectively mm. wow nityananda lakshmi project starts i tell you it will not only enrich the people around it will enrich us also so now you guys have to sit plan you guys will do the collective responsibility meeting now am i right you will do the meeting and when will you come back and declare how many cities you are going say how many village you are going to enrich how many people you are going to enrich how many families you are going to enrich if you work sincerely you will create a real nityananda nagar with this 200 300 villages 2 300 village will be nityananda nagar
Okay, I'll be joining your uh, team and commit fully for the Sangha. So, Malaysia Sangha, listen. Make 100,000 people live this tattvas. That's the first thing you need to do. Everything else will simply follow. Now, with the local newspapers, magazines, TV channel, you have to start putting the discourses on these four tattvas and start conducting house to house, house meetings, home meetings. Immediately you may not be able to start the ASPs, that is okay, home meetings, house satsangs on the four tattvas, Chaturveda meeting, four Vedas meeting, start house to house. Each one of you should become Acharya and go to house to house and start conducting four tattva meeting. Understand? You can't expect just Rishi Nirantra and Maa Nirantra to come. Each one of you go to different, different houses, places and start teaching these four Vedas, four Tattvas. Okay? Start. My blessings to Malaysia Sangha. Blessings. We will win. Now only I feel life is happening. So much life is happening. Everywhere. Shiva is so happy. Kalabairava is so happy. Life is happening. I'll move to the next part of the satsang. Dial the avatar. <laughs>